this you know it's beautiful for these these uh, murids to be with the salihin or be in jamaat does that mean that the spirit wants to be in jamaat and w- what is being in jamaat that is opposite to declaring the lord's day or being in jamaat jamaat means to disappear Jamaat means to disappear. The spirit, it doesn't declare his lordship. The spirit declares its servanthood. And the spirit in front of Allah is saying, I am nothing, you are everything. The spirit wants to disappear. It doesn't want to make appearances. anything that is appearing other than allah it is fake it is false the ego wants to appear the ego doesn't just want to appear it wants to say i am the real appearance i am the only appearance everything else it is not existing when you are angry everything else disappears except for you and your anger yes like people they are saying what are you guys doing sitting here making zikr muslims everywhere they are suffering you are not helping them yes so what do you do you should go help them instead of sitting here just worshiping then they're not understanding the problem is not suffering the prophets they suffer don't they do they complain don't even say that they complain they suffer and when they pull back it is not because it is too much they pull back because they are ashamed of their ummah and they just want to be with their lord a little bit and because of that allah still punish them so they suffer prophet alayhi salatu wasalam 23 years he suffered the sahabi kiram they suffered so the problem is not suffering the problem is what makes a man to suffer Whatever that is happening let's say right now it is not Allah who is making man to torture themselves don't blame Allah what is making a man to become a tyrant to himself is ego you can take away all the suffering from this world but if you don't take away the tyranny of the ego the ego is going to pop up again and they'll be suffering more in different ways in new ways so what is our tariqat concentrating on the root the root of the problem if you don't take care of the root nothing is going to grow properly you take care of the root even if it's going to take 100 years after 100 years everything will come out good so if you're still not understanding the root how that ego is operating how the evil is operating how the shaitan with the nafs with the dunya and with the hawa is operating how it is taking over this world since the fall of the hilafat if you don't understand all of that you will not understand and you will not look through the eyes of allah you're still trying to fix a problem today you fix it tomorrow 10 problems come out oh take them up
Because people are going to judge according to the what is outside. This one is my brother, so he's going to support me. Really? This one is my father from my own tribe. He's always going to support me. Really? This one is coming from my own family, from my own nationality, from my own religion. They are always going to support me. Really? Then you are still looking at the outside form. You're not going into the spirit. Definitely not the spirit. Because you're not even looking at the ego. The spirit is serving Allah. The spirit is in agreement with everything that Allah has put on it. And understanding it, the spirit has been created to know Allah. The ego does not know Allah. It has not been created to know Allah. The ego, it is standing separate and it wants to be worshipped. Allah has put that characteristic into every man. Does it matter if you're Muslim, Christian, a Jew, Hindu, Buddhist, male, female? It doesn't matter. It is there. Together with that ego, there is a spirit. So now, if you don't understand and you don't take it from the roots, like trying to fix a building. The foundation is bad. The foundation is rotten. It cannot hold. No matter how beautiful we make the building to be, it is falling already. Not one day it's going to fall. It is falling. Everyone is trying to fix the problem. But you don't understand what is the root of the problem. Everyone is saying there's a problem in this world. There's a problem with the Muslims. There's a problem with the Ummah. They don't understand what is the root. They're grabbing from here, grabbing from there, grabbing from here and saying, I think it is a snake. Another one saying, mm, I think it is a paper. Another one saying, I think it is a fan. No one is seeing what the whole animal is. These days, those who see it, they say it is an elephant. They say, shut up, you don't know anything. Because now, there is a time of veiling. There is a time of dark darkness. Permission is only given to speak to those who want to listen. Because a great punishment is about to come. And if you have one ounce, one ounce of sympathy, one ounce of sympathy for Batil, you will be perished too with those ones. Man will be with those whom he loves. So, this quality of the ego who wants to be alone. It cannot be alone also because it doesn't know what to do. It has all this power but it doesn't know what to do so much. That's why the shaitan always is standing in front to say, I will give you guidance. I will whisper to you. Shaitan is saying, the way your Lord whispers to you, I will whisper to. The way your prophet and the angels and the awliya is speaking to you, I will whisper to you too. And I will come in the forms and the shapes of everything that you love. If your love is insincere and you love only from the outside appearances. That's why Allah is saying, you can fool them as much as you want. But those ones that I've put protection on, those ones who wants to see with my eyes, you cannot fool them. May Allah help us. Mm, I'm fearing from the punishment of Allah. 
I'm fearing that the Allah is going to punish us because we cannot do anything. But those ones who are speaking on the behalf of Islam, so many, speaking from so much knowledge of Islam, so much love they have coming from wilayat, the responsibility is first on you, not on me. We don't declare ourselves to be anything. We are all servants of our Shaykh, trying to follow him, you and me, that's all. Those ones who are calling themselves scholars and Shaykhs. High level people, able to sit and speak with heads of state. First is on them. But still, I am fearful from the punishment of Allah. May Allah forgive me and bless you, inshallah. So, move away from the small, useless problems that you have in your life. Hmm. That you have everything, but you're busy with one thing that you cannot get. Or one word that someone says to you, you're not understanding the spiritual support that is coming. One thing that's not fitting to your agenda and your idea of what happiness or how things work, suddenly, what, you lose your faith? You get scared? Allah, Allah. Be careful. Become strong or stay far away. That's for me first. These words to myself and anyone else who wants to listen. ومن الله التوفيق الفاتحة السلام عليكم <تصفيق>